February 1st, 1942. The days of training and patrolling are over. Time to take the fight to the enemy. Target, Wochi Island, Central Pacific, in the Marshall Islands chain. Objective, deny the Japanese a base for possible invasion of the Hawaiian Islands. Strategy, destroy Japanese airstrips, fuel storage tanks, ammunition dumps, and anti-aircraft batteries. Enterprise's task force cruiser USS Northampton kicks off the attack. Her eight-inch guns hurl their 260-pound projectiles five miles across the sea to their targets on the island. 100 miles west of Wochi, surveillance has revealed a heavy concentration of enemy vessels at Kwajalein Atoll. So while Northampton takes care of Wochi, Enterprise sends its SBD bombers to strike the Kwajalein anchorage. Dusty Cleese speeds south toward an outpost on tiny Kwajalein Island. I found a cruiser there. So no fighters around. Oh boy, this is great. So I got up there and I made this dive. Cleese has just one bomb aboard, a 500 pounder. He knew he had one shot, one shot only. Everything had to be perfect. And uh, he did it. I uh, clobbered it. As he pulls out of his dive, Cleese is feeling pressure five to six times the force of gravity. But there's no better feeling than getting right up in the enemy's face and delivering a knockout blow. Five miles to the north, a fellow Enterprise dive bomber pilot has discovered a cluster of merchant ships near the Carlos Pass. He scores a well-timed hit on a tanker scrambling toward the channel's mouth. It was trying to go out at sea, and he hit it right on the head and caught it on fire. The tanker just happens to be at the choke point of the channel, and it blocks passage by the remaining ships. Well, here were all these ships inside of the lagoon. Then the USS Enterprise launched nine torpedo planes after it to go get those remaining ships that were caught inside of the channel. Practically no anti-aircraft gun, and here these things couldn't move. Well, it was like shooting fish in the barrel. The Enterprise TBDs pass over Kwajalein Lagoon and drop their payloads, but there's not a single explosion. At this point in the war, American torpedo technology is hit or miss, and it's mostly miss. Nine out of every 10 torpedoes veers off course or fails to detonate. It's a frustrating reality for the pilots risking their lives at Kwajalein. Launched their torpedoes, not one hit. Luckily, there are American bombers in the area, too. And their explosives are working just fine. Kwajalein Harbor is a smoking, burning wreck by the time Admiral Halsey calls off the attack. Some 90 enemy personnel are killed at Kwajalein, including the area commander. The Marshall Islands raids are a huge success and Enterprise returns to a hero's welcome at Pearl Harbor. <laughs>